Amazon's drone delivery service. In 2013, Amazon unveiled its mission to make delivery by drone a reality. The idea was to have items purchased on Amazon delivered by drone within an hour of ordering. But 10 years later, and the vast majority of people have still never had their parcel delivered by drone. Let's have a look at how Amazon's drone will work. Amazon has created over 20 prototypes of drone, making small improvements each time, and doing test deliveries in very small numbers to people living near specific distribution centers over the last few years. Let's have a look at their latest drone. This is the current prototype Amazon is using for testing, called the MK27-2. It weighs 36 kilograms, is 5.5 feet in diameter, is capable of delivering packages weighing up to 2.2 kilograms, and has a range of 15 miles. The drone is not controlled by a human and is completely autonomous. It features a vast array of sensors, including thermal imaging cameras, which are used to detect humans or animals in the package drop zone. The combination of sensors and algorithms are very similar to those used in self-driving cars and are used to help the drone avoid colliding with other objects in the air, such as other aircraft. Let's have a look at the process a customer would go through to get a drone delivery. First of all, as of the end of 2022 when this video was made, Amazon are only planning to start testing in two locations very soon. These are Lockford, California and College Station, Texas. A customer living in these areas will have a choice of around 3,000 products that are eligible for drone delivery during the trial. These will be clearly marked in the Amazon app. The customer will mark on the map where they would like the package delivered, which will be in their garden in most cases. Once they order, then the package will be loaded into the back of the drone, as we can see here, and the drone receives the delivery location. It takes off vertically like a helicopter, and once in the air it rotates into a forward position, and the hexagon surrounding the drone serves as its wings, as we can see here. It then starts flying at a max speed of 50 miles per hour. The drone has a max altitude of 400 feet, meaning it will never come into contact with a plane or helicopter. It follows a predetermined flight path to its destination, which is automatically generated to avoid no-fly zones such as airports. Once it gets to its location, it begins to descend, but it doesn't descend completely as you might expect. It actually descends to around 12 feet off the ground. It then scans the area and drops its parcel from the height of 12 feet to the delivery zone the customer marked on the map. The reason it does this is to avoid flying into people, animals or objects that it may come into contact with if it landed completely. The thermal sensors we mentioned earlier help it scan the drop zone before dropping the parcel. These thermal sensors will pick up the heat of a person or small animal below the drone. If it detects anyone underneath, it will not drop the parcel and will return to the distribution center so your cat won't be crushed by your latest impulse buy. If testing goes well, Amazon plans to roll out these trials in more locations with more products. What are your thoughts on drone deliveries? Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful.